Hi everybody, this is Hunter and Anusha, and we're going to be doing an island tour of a five-star island that, that one of our viewers volunteered. Um, looks like it's named Pear Peaks, and I believe it'll be a guided tour. The dodo is definitely one of my least favorite parts of this game, because they make everything so long. <sighs> But the one that flies is really cute, I like his sunglasses and his <laughs> deep voice. Yeah. I really like the overview of this island. Um, I really like how, they, how they've done the pathing. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Yeah, for sure. It looks very nice. It's not too much. Oh my god, look at their little outfit. It, they look <laughs> so cute. Wow. And this is during sunset, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So just looking at the map right now, from what we can see, they've got all their villagers on one side of the island. And uh, yeah, they got so many cute, very desirable villagers like Zucker, Marina, Ketchup. Maple's pretty high up there too. Yeah. And Benedict, of course. We had Benedict on our island, and I swear to God, I literally had to fight Hunter over whether or not we should keep him. <laughs> I liked him and his bugs. Just looking at their passport right now. Sleepless Remodeler. Their name is BB. Coffee and Pancakes, of course. And their birthday is the day before mine. That's exciting. Okay. A uh, nice colored airport. I like that more than the, the cyan color that we've got. I honestly don't even know that like airports can change color. Is it? Is it like a Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere thing? No, it's just randomized. Are there only two everyone, colors? I think. No, there's, there are multiple colors. Gotcha. I got them a little gift. I hope they like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I really do like the entrance of their island with the Nova Lights and Celeste items like the Pisces and Libra scales. I think it looks really, really cute. Yeah, those do look really pretty. I really like the scales. I haven't seen those before. We have a treat yourself flower area, it looks like. <laughs> nice Parks and Rec reference. I really like how they've done the entrance with the flowers on the sides. Because, like, it looks like they almost have every flower, you know? And I've seen a lot of people, like, just try to make their entrances very terraformed and very, um, I don't know, elaborate and complex. This looks really, really good, though. And here we have, looks like an airport waiting area. So we have a cute design on the simple panels. We got some flight times and a magazine stand. And Rover's briefcase, of course, <laughs> if it's right in. I also really like how it's been, um, how it's been like fenced in with the hedges. I really like that. Yeah, I think the hedges are definitely my favorite fence in this game. <laughs> Mine, I think, would be the wedding fence. I I just think it looks really elegant. I think those would look nice together. The hedges and the wedding fence? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I like how their beach is kind of sparse, but also just it just looks really clean, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. With the cute little pineapple umbrella. <laughs> Very tropical. I like how they've got an angled signpost with, like, a house probably pointing towards their home and from what i can see they've got like little uh cardboard boxes outside yeah a little amazon area <laughs> in this quarantine i guess amazon is a savior right wow and of course we've got the lily of the valley i really like how they've placed their mailbox down by the staircase instead of by their house uh very unique I really like that. It does look really nice. I also like that they've accented the stone hearts that they've pat paved in front of their house with these little star symbols. It looks really cool. I also saw them on the beach. Uh, it, it looked like it was almost shining. Yeah. But that this... does look cool. I'm sure that'll look really cool when it's in addition to the stars that fall on the beach after a night of stargazing. I really like their little pool patio area. That looks so cool. 
Yeah, and it's accented nicely with the white li lily of the valleys. I have never seen someone use potting as like doormats. That looks so cute. Yeah, they look like little chocolate bunnies. Or keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look at their house. It does look really pretty. It's like a little living room lounge area. A drawing room is what we call it in India. This looks really, really good. She's done a really nice job managing to find, it looks like, a white version of every item she can put in this in this uh, room. Yeah. I really like how she's mixed it in with, like, little greenery, green tones, brown tones. It, it looks like an interior designer has made this house. I yeah. really like it. I really like the birch furniture in here. That's yeah. a good use of it. it. Definitely is, I feel like, maximizing its its potential in here because I'm not a huge fan of it outside. I kind of tend to like the darker, darker log furniture a little bit more, but in this room it definitely shows how, like, a good way to use it. Going to the bathroom, um, the bamboo, and this shade of bamboo particularly, and just like accents of pink this looks so wonderful and i really like how they've like um just decorated the walls so perfectly as well wow this is great yeah the bamboo definitely looks really nice in this room she's even accented it looks like the the weighing scale right there with a similar color yeah and she's of course uh, put the shower head above the bath. <laughs> I really like that idea. That is a really good idea. And we're going to the other room now, which looks like it's a cute den room. I really like that cat tea. That is adorable. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. I haven't either. Nor have I seen the posters on these walls. Uh, with that little nook thing. Where Have you seen Nook's Cranny selling posters yet? No, I think these are custom posters. Are they? How much custom design are they taking up? I mean, I would assume it's only one, because you can put... I don't know, I definitely haven't seen these, so that's why I'm thinking they're... Why they're custom designs, but they definitely look really nice. We've got a little Hello Kitty and Isabel over there. <laughs> I really cool. like how how well this is designed. It looks like an actual house. Yeah. She's got a lot of cat items in there, too, so I'm, I'm sure she's got a cat in real <laughs> life as well. Look at this workshop area with all those plaques and trophies. My God, I don't even know you could get those house trophies. She's got the silver, the gold, and there's the bronze, of course. Yeah, I haven't seen these before. I'm not sure whether or not that's something that pops up there when you customize those workbenches or if it's something she got through like hra and put up there herself either way they look really nice i really like how she's made an entire room dedicated to like crafting services with the little workbenches and uh all those shelving units i i don't think i've seen anyone do that no right it's really creative yeah it's like it's like a little garage area, but just prettier because it's in the house. Mm -hmm. Talking of garages, going downstairs. Wow. we got a beautiful kitchen. This is so pretty. The wallpaper in this room is amazing. Uh, for anyone who's wondering what this wallpaper is, it's the, uh, the cafe curtain wall that Sahara gives you, I think. Um, and I think the stone flooring is probably a DIY or something that you could get. But... Uh, Oh, look at the carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> that looks tasty. It looks like we've got a little TV above the doorway as well. Cool. Kind of makes it look like a cooking show in here. <laughs> or just like catching up with the news while you're cooking. Yeah. This looks really, really good. It's very well decorated. She's got everything that a star kitchen would need or have. I did not know that you can put something on that uh stove thing the black um wood burning stove did she, put, she put something on there i actually didn't notice she put like a black kettle on top oh, that's cute 
Yeah. I haven't seen that about either. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that bedroom. It you is see those little green minions on that pillow right there. <laughs> I really like her custom designs. They're really cute. Yeah, they are. She's got a beautiful ring and some some jewelry accessories on her nightstand. Yeah. <laughs> cute little bird. What color is that? Is is it blue? The bird? Yeah. No, like the bird cage. Oh, I'm not sure. It's gray. She's got a little popper with a peach chair. This is so cute. I love the little pencil holder that she's <laughs> that she's found. I haven't seen that item in this game before. That's really cute though. Yeah. I really like this whole house, honestly. It makes me feel like if I were to actually have a house in like real life, I would ask her for your designing tips, to be honest. This looks great. Her walls remind me of Judy's house for some reason. I don't think they're the same, but... Judy had, I think, the puzzle ones, like the pastel puzzle piece ones. I really like how she's done the outdoors of her house as well. It just makes it seem like it's its own entity, a little island for her own house, you know? I really like that. And then just walking around the beach, we've got like a little life ring, a blue sand cap. I think sand castles are like Hunter's favorite item uh, for the beach in this game. <laughs> yeah, I do really like them. I, I didn't know before, I don't know, probably a week ago that you could actually get sand castles with different colored flags on top, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I had only seen the red one before. She's got a little hay bed, and what I can assume is farming turnips. Of course, we got the we got to get the money, <laughs> and we got the fertilizer in front of the silo. Wow. Oh, that's really cute. And of course, we've got another angled signpost taking us into what looks like an orchard. <laughs> I really like how she's growing weeds around this area to make it seem a little more natural as well. Yeah, and I like this garden faucet placed on the dirt pathing like that yeah it looks very natural like that yeah like something you would see in a real farm yeah very realistic island till now from what we've seen uh where do you get that archway from i've never seen it, it looks very fall themed though this yeah entire island kind of looks fall themed honestly yeah i like it a lot you know one thing that i've noticed about her orchard and a lot of other orchards uh is that like they do a really good job with spacing. So you can, like, run through it all and you don't feel like it's crammed in. Yeah. It also looks like she's done it correctly so that she doesn't have to... Um, she doesn't have to sacrifice any of her fruit when they're falling if she just goes through and shakes all of them. Yeah. Before picking it up. This is another angled sign post that I just touched. I really like these Nova lights here, too. <laughs> Uh, but I'm assuming this diagonal bridge, which is one of my favorite way to like put bridges down, is going towards the residential community now. Looks like we have Benedict's house up first. She's put some nice high <laughs> hibiscus. Uh, hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. Mm -hmm. okay. Benedict. I mm -hmm. really wonder if like Benedict is her favorite villager. I would be really I surprised so. that Benedict is someone's favorite villager, but uh, you know, every everyone likes their own <laughs> things. I love Benedict. He's so plain, but he's so funny. He's so plain. Yeah. I really like this beehive thing as well. Yeah. Very it's cute. Color coordinated too. To there's the house to the roof. There's Jambet just looking over the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, one thing that I noticed around their house is that, like, right at the door, they have made such good use of the padding to make it actually seem like it's a doormat. Yeah, that does look really cool. I haven't seen somebody do that before. Normally people are just inclined to path out the entire thing. Yeah. But breaking it up like that looks really, really nice. I, haven't, I really haven't seen that before. That's cool. It looks like we have a little UFO area here, maybe a spotting area. That is so interesting. A UFO area? I have never seen that kind of a custom design used on, like, a post. Um, nor have I seen anyone, like, make an area like this. And it looks like we actually have a UFO up top. 
and maybe a telescope. That's cool, a little viewing area up here. And if I don't know if like a lot of people know about this, but when you press on the UFO, you get a cute little animation of a little alien. <laughs> Beaming them up. Yep. That's cute. And it looks like we actually have in the backdrop a moon landing and an asteroid on the the rocks, which looks really cool. I haven't seen somebody put those items out there before, but it almost looks like a pseudo moon. Um, like the the ground almost looks like moon rocks underneath it. So it's it's actually really innovative. Yeah, it looks much better than like the majority of the time I see people. Uh, I see people use these items. I feel like they just kind of throw all the space items together, but putting them on their own on this little rock area is definitely really interesting. No, I agree. I think the asteroids go really well with the rock as well. But uh, apart from that, I saw that they placed like a little table in front of the UFO to like make it seem like someone was researching the UFO and like what's coming down from it. And of course, leave it to the humans to want to research literally everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but cool. yeah, I, I really like how they like extended the area to the rock and made it seem as if it's one without placing too many items in front of it. Uh, and this is actually Chester's house that we just passed. We had him as our villager too. <laughs> Another it's, plain villager. Who's Very blocking cute, me? Oh my god, Jimbo. Let me Seems go. Like I've been having quite the issue with going onto other people's islands and having their villagers block us in. I mean, she's just like she's strutting. Just keep, uh, I think she knows what she's doing. Yeah. She's like, I don't want you here. <laughs> Sitting on that stool. It's probably the only way we're going to get around her. Yeah. Uh, but I think this is like interesting because she's given like yards to some people. And then some other people have, like, smaller yards. Maybe it's based on uh, how maybe she's playing favorites. Yeah. I think this is Zucker's house, so yeah. it's cool. And she's got the same lighthouse as we do. I know a lot of people, like, uh, work with forced perspective things. So they place the lighthouse on the rocks. And if you look from up above, you can see that it's like, oh, it's a very big lighthouse. When in comparison, it's actually not that big. Yeah. That is, that is something very creative that I did not expect to see in Animal Crossing at the very least. Yeah. But here we have a nice little patio area. <laughs> everything is, of course, matching so well. I actually really like how she's used the mom's candles out here. It looks really cute. Yeah, it does. I didn't even know that mom gave us a candle, actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if, like, you guys noticed, but you can see little leaves on the patio area. I guess that's a custom design, too. That does look really pretty. I didn't notice that the first time that we walked through there, but that's really cool. I haven't seen somebody use leaves. A lot of people use flowers for, like, custom design on top of, like, the normal yeah. pathing, but yeah. that's cool. I really, really like that. I also like that... Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that, um, but the, the little diagonal that she had for her river was uh, lined with bushes. And I haven't seen someone use bushes that way either. So I hope like that's giving you all some inspiration <laughs> as to how to do your own riverside. Yeah, that is cool. I haven't seen, I haven't seen that either. I didn't know that the bushes would be so close together. Like they kind of keep the spacing the same as if they were parallel to each other, which is cool. But here so we fun. have, <laughs> but here we have like a little campsite area with chess and game boards, uh, board games. What, are, what is wrong with me? <laughs> but brown chess board looks really nice on the log table. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really like this log furniture too, along with the little marshmallow pack that they have. That's a really cute design. I think that's one of my favorite designs, like custom designs that I've seen in this game is people putting those marshmallow or like, I think it's Jiffy. Yeah. Jiffy bags. Look at that campsite sign. Hunter and I are always so fascinated with it because we just <laughs> never find it. Yeah. It has been quite the struggle. Yeah. 
Uh, I really like how the cedar trees look around the campsite as well. I think it really pulls the area in together. Yeah, and it looks like we're walking into a nice bamboo forest here. Yeah, I like how densely packed it is. And um, it just looks like, I don't know, it just, it, it just gives a very serene vibe. But it also gives you uh, a little bit of like a rustic element that you're walking through like a forest, you know? And just trying to find your way through with some wild uh, hyacinths growing around. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot nicer than than what we had on our island like prior a couple designs ago. <laughs> I like that the bamboo forest isn't just barren. Yeah. It's, it's got some some color to it. It's got some items in it. it looks cool. This yeah. little spa area, which is enclosed by the bamboos, looks so good yeah that's really that's a really innovative thing to use like the bed outside i haven't seen somebody use the imperial bed outside but it definitely like they're optimizing that viewing of the top of the bed which is normally not what you look at when you see a bed but the imperial bed definitely has a cool overhang yeah alongside the bamboo lattice fence and the um is this the bamboo lattice fence i think so mm -hmm. but it looks so good with the dried bamboo uh customization wow this is just so good and the cedar trees look so nice kind of lining the this little pathway between the bamboo forest and, and themselves it looks really nice and I don't know if, like, we commented on the Lily of the Valleys yet, but it looks like they've just, like, sparsely placed them here and there. And it just, it makes you feel like, uh, it makes it feel very homey. I would say not too fancy, but also just perfect. <laughs> and it looks like we have a cute little picnic area here with a painting that looks really cool. It's yeah. crazy how creative people are. I mean... Could you imagine you or I trying to make that painting on the designer app? No, I have no idea how they made that. I'm assuming they use like the the website where you can just upload stuff, but either way, I don't know how people are making those with the pixels that you're given in this game. Yeah. And then going down to the bakery from what I can see. It's like she has every cake in this <laughs> game here. That's pretty. Yeah, these all cakes you get from uh, mom's gifts in your mail. So I would just say that like when I first started getting these things, I would just get rid of it. Honestly, I would just be like, oh, I'm never going to use it. But then I see people using them in little bakeries like this. And I'm like, what? Why did I sell those? <laughs> those are really cute magnets on the fridge. I actually didn't know that you could put those up there. That must be a customization or something. Yeah. And uh, this little set, this tea set that they've got, um, the dish set, that is actually a DIY. And it's not the table setting that you can get from like as an item. So uh, the way they've customized it goes really well. And I really like how the pots look as well. Wow. We have a beautiful garden on the left, but I think we will make our way to it in a minute. Right now, it looks like we're going to be viewing some wedding items that she's placed out that looks really pretty i didn't even realize that you could turn the candle on and off in the middle of that table <laughs> but yeah. she's gone with a very earthy theme to this wedding and i like it this is actually the the theme of the wedding item that you weren't a big fan of when yeah. we were doing the wedding event for the llamas i can't remember their name <laughs> but this does look really cool i can't remember if it was called like the garden or the natural customization but in either case, um, it it just suits it really well. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Right? And nice Lily of the Valley up top. And she's just got... I like that she hasn't put a microphone out or anything. She's just put very simple, two white instruments, a little gold accent in there, and a candle. Hunter and I um, were not the biggest fans of having like flowers as borders for certain pathways but looking at these this whole island is just changing my perspective on everything that i was first a little hesitant about yeah i think there's a way to do practically anything you want in this game it's just a matter of 
the willpower to figure <laughs> it out. And she's definitely done a really nice job with using these flower borders around her, around the stone tiling. Um, but this is beautiful. It looks like we have a rainbow garden here. And yeah. some nice, a white fountain and some garden lights and garden wagons, gnomes, a little bit of everything. This looks beautiful. This I'm a very fun. big fan of it. Yeah. I have every flower in here. I'm not sure. Honestly, I would not be surprised. However, I do think we're missing green mums. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but who would want a line of green mums? Yeah. Honestly, though. But, like, all these little garden items, such as the gnomes, the faucet, and then the well. I just got a garden wagon out here, too. My God. This looks so good. Especially with it all being fenced in with the hedges. I just think these go... <laughs> Like, large gardens and the hedges just look gorgeous together in this game. Yeah. Hunter and I were thinking of, like, redoing our island. And I am sure I will be hearing about how we should place more hedge fences due to this island. Because they just make everything look so good. It looks like she's actually used your favorite fencing as well. This wedding <laughs> fence. Yeah. And we've got a little entrance into the wedding area itself. That's I really beautiful. like how it's like you got to go over some water with a bridge overhead. Beautiful. The water's just glistening under the bridge. It's really pretty. I really like that she's actually, it seems like she's been able to implement every type of flower into this island, not only in the garden, but just throughout the island itself. She hasn't stuck to like a, a dedicated color or theme. It's, I don't know, it's wild and it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Like I said, when I was trying to describe what the customization for the wedding was, wedding items was, it's a very garden -y, garden -y. Gardening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very naturalistic theme that she's gone for her island, and it looks absolutely stunning. And now we're at the entrance of what I can only assume is like a little uh, carnival fair kind of thing, right? I think so. It looks like we have some prizes over here, a teddy bear and a pupper, and <laughs> some candy, cotton candy, not candy cotton. Yeah, I really like the customization on the stall as well. It's very dreamy, pastel, very, very beautiful. And you can see like here and there she's used the little star um, pothing as well. That's wow. really pretty. Right? I, she's used it, it seems like, on... I mean, there it is again in the uh, on the terracotta. It looks like she's used it on almost every surface it she can, and it looks really pretty. I keep thinking like it looks the best on the sand, or no, it looks best on the grass. I'm not sure which one I like the most, but it, that looks really nice. And we've got a little movie area here with some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we made like a drive-in movie theater on our island too. And of course, we had to display Harry Potter. It is uh, one of our favorite bonding themes to talk about. Mm. But, um, and I guess this item, this little uh, slot machine item is also a pocket camp thing, right? Yeah. I just need to log on to there. I played it enough when it came out that I should just be able to get it, but I just haven't yet and this is really cool we've got a <laughs> this is very cool it, it looks like we have a little stargazing area that she's implemented into this fair ground yeah uh and she i don't know if you guys noticed but like most of these areas are square and so uh to use the teacup ride and make it feel incorporated into the island she plays the teacup ride on a square potting so it would fit in and honestly it looks so stunning wow <laughs> Ooh, i think that's our first sighting of a starbucks item down here maybe yes. it's second i don't remember but i really like that it's just a little relaxing spot when you're tired of like so many cool items and you just want to take a breather you go you sit on the bench i really like how she's used these tiki torches as well yeah, just going off what you said, I really love, one of my favorite things that I see on people's islands is when they have very small areas dedicated to just a table and some tea or something like that. They're always very enclosed and 
private. It looks very nice. Yeah, I agree. It looks and, like we have... Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say that, like, I really like the penguins oh. on the design <laughs> over there. They are really cute. Got some yeah. ice cream, smoothies. Wow. This is, uh, I'm assuming, the entrance to their resort. And it, it looks so phenomenal. Oh, they're letting us go in first. <laughs> this is really cute. We have a little outdoor room. Looks like on a boardwalk, maybe? I'm not sure. It's really pretty, though. Yeah. And you can see the beach area from here, from your own little room. It looks so good. It's like they have a little island vacationing spot on their island. This is fantastic. And again, we're going with the theme of having uh, the beach be very simple, yet very, very sophisticated, I would say. And she's done such a nice job lighting this entire island from tiki torches to lampposts, garden lampposts, and even these palm tree lamps. Lamps. <laughs> they look very nice and it, I'd love to see this island at night time because it definitely looks like she's managed to not lose any of the charm of the island Yeah. when the lighting is lower and here we've got a little uh, area by the resort room to like just relax and hang out I guess um, it looks so good yeah I love these custom designs that she's put out there it looks like the changing room and the stool and even the surfboard and stall over there all share the same or similar design at least yeah that's really nice yeah i like that it's very tropical i haven't seen someone place a bucket next to the sand castle before it's actually as if they're making the sand castle yeah. right then and there <laughs> that does look really cool yeah oh, found a lifeguard tower <laughs> uh and let's see where they're taking us now little grapes umbrella <laughs> i really like how simple they've kept their beach maybe something that we should have incorporated in our own island yeah i did get a comment saying it was a little hard to run through our island yeah it's just, i would have to agree at times yeah it's a little frustrating how the game lags if you put too many items out yeah but. and i guess we're going to a secret beach area now what she oh, has ex really creative. she has extended red's beach to be even bigger yet more private than like everything else that we've seen thus far that's really cool and she's again utilized all these tan colors from the the palm tree lamp to the dried bamboo and the i think that's what is that bath called outdoor bath no that's the, the other one bath. cypress bath cypress yeah. bath though. It all looks very nice together. I really like how she hasn't tried to make this area a uh, very, um, I don't know, a very lucrative area, which is all like filled with gold and barrels and stuff. It just fits really well with her island because um, it's a very serene vibe, I would say. This looks really, really, really good. I just had to say wow because she deserves all the praise that we can give her for, for this island and more. This is just wonderful. Yeah, I can definitely tell that that's a theme that she was going for when she was building the island itself. Just tropical, relaxing. Oh, looks like we have a DIY bottle there. <laughs> and honestly, Sunset, I believe this item was literally made to be seen at Sunset. It looks... This item? No, this island. Oh, island, yeah. Because, like, it, it, it's just bathed in this golden lighting, and it looks so, so fantastic. I wonder how many hours she put in this. But again, the lighting on this island is extraordinary. I'm, I'm sure that she's managed to put at least one light everywhere, so it's you're never just sitting in the dark. That's really cool. Yeah. Now it looks like we're going to be going back towards the middle of the island. We have, oh, that's really pretty. Those butterflies just <laughs> flying around her little garden. Yeah. This is so cute. It's as if the island itself wants us to see how beautiful it is. Yeah. Treat yourself. It looks like we, this might be a DIY area. I'm not sure. Yeah. But either way, it looks very nice. This, this design that she's put on the stalls perfectly matches the color of the Nova lights. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure where we're going now. 
but I like the purple hyacinths. <laughs> and I can see the waterfalls in the background. That just looks... Oh. Wow. What? That's really cool. This is Those crazy. look so nice with the design that she's been putting on the ground. It's like she saved the best for the last. <laughs> oh, I really like that view. That just shows like four different areas coming together on the island. Yeah. It's as if like the whole island is integrated within this area and you can look at it almost like how we looked at it through the overview while like coming in, you know? It almost looks like it's directly in the middle of her island too. It, is it? Not in the middle, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like centered. Yeah. Just, either way, it looks gorgeous. You can see the Maui statue, campsite <laughs> sign, a little bit of the picnic area. Yeah. It's really cool. I do like it. And, um, you know, I didn't even realize going through this island that we hadn't yet seen um, Abel's or Nooks. Oh, yeah. I've been too distracted with... <laughs> Literally everything. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, it's like we're getting distracted by KK now. <laughs> uh, looking at their island flag. That's really pretty. That is so so cute it's multicolored and uh it reminds me of like a cold play album cover yeah i wonder what it represents for her i'm not sure but i like it i also like this library that she's put out here yeah she's uh, very cute she's i like i can i think i see a little car up on the mantle it's yeah. pretty and for everyone who knows what I'm talking about, she's placed a little box of those biscuits, which always contain literally anything but the biscuits. So every time you go to open the box, you're up for disappointment. But that looks so cute. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but like uh, she's placed three paddings on top of one another. So she's placed a terracotta on which she's placed um, the border on which she's placed... Um, the white planks this looks so good a little book club area wow i really liked the backdrop that she had behind the mantle as well it was a little terrace with white and pink flowers but mm -hmm. looks like we're going into an extension on the museum which is really cool i like that she's got a the i think they're gulliver items right yeah gulliver items out here and a popcorn machine of course this looks so good just fantastic and again she's gone with the theme of like placing a mat outside of uh buildings and honestly that that's so creative yeah she's done such a nice job paving this entire island that i i actually have not realized that we haven't been walking on pathing this entire time yeah it's like you're walking on little stars <laughs> yeah, that's really cool and I missed that angled signpost the first time, but that's cool. Yeah. I really like those. Uh, and I'm assuming she's kept Abel and Nooks a little um, simpler with just a little garden bench. Oh, oh, never mind what I was saying. <laughs> this looks really cool. She's got oh, a little a Starbucks thing. She's got a little cafe area with the coffee beans in a Starbucks cushion pack, a uh, little espresso machine. This just fits in so well. It is a little cafe, but it's so cute. And you can get your little pizza in that. Awesome. I really like that she's put a serving cart out there as well, just by the menu board. That looks really pretty. Yeah. She's just got, got like... A gumball machine. <laughs> it's a very playful area. I like it. Yeah. You look at that bug over there. It's a violin beetle, mm -hmm. right? I think, I don't know. It's gross. <laughs> And I guess that's it for the island. Uh, I'm assuming we were just walking back to the, um, the airport. But it has been such a delight coming here. Yeah, this island has been breathtaking. I'm very impressed with how she's managed to fit so many different pathings. On, like custom pathings on top of just natural pathings. It's, and again, the lights and... The ability to use all these flowers. No words. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm so grateful that they let us tour their island. 
And uh, I really hope they like their gift that we gave us because this was so great. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Again, thank you so much for for showing us BB. <laughs> the sound is beautiful. Um, um, and I guess that like now as we leave the island, just to let you guys know that we stream we stream daily on Twitch at hlinton sixty five. And thank you for joining us.